Yo, what's good guys, Medical Gamer over here bringing you a video on how to gen Pokemon into your game. So basically create Pokemon on your computer and put them into your game. I know for a fact that this works with Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire and Pokemon X and Y. I don't know if it works for any of the previous versions. I don't, I'm, I'm not sure if it does. So I don't want to guarantee anything, but you guys can experiment and you can let me know and I can test it out. Or if you want me to test it out, I can test it out. All that good stuff. So anyways, the first and foremost thing that you want to do is you want to download this, which I will leave a link in, in the description, but it's for Homebrew on the 3, 3DS. Now, for those of you guys who don't know, Homebrew is almost like jailbreaking your 3DS. Like, if you ever heard of jailbreaking an iPhone, it's kind of the same thing, except one thing is that, which I like about Homebrew, is that Homebrew does not have to be installed on your 3DS. So homebrew can be installed on the SD card that you use for your 3DS. So I did not install homebrew on my 3DS because I don't want anything to get messed up, you know, just in case I like to be safe. So I've only installed homebrew on the SD card that goes in the 3DS. So if I want to get rid of homebrew, I can just delete the files on the SD card and it'll be great again. So anyways, Homebrew, you got it. You have to install this, and then another thing that you have to download. Well, uh, I'll just click download right now, so I can show you guys. So, I'm gonna download that, and I've already downloaded it before, but I'm just gonna do it to show you guys. And then also, you need this. You need PK Hex, which I will also leave a description, a link in the description to download this. You're gonna click that zip file. They're just regular zip files. You can open them up with WinRAR. That's typically the thing that I think most people use on PC. And so you're going to open this up and you can ignore the instructions. Just click on homebrew files and then you want to extract that. So you can extract it to wherever you want. I'm going to extract it to my desktop. So there we go. That's in my desktop and PK hex. You got to open that up and you're going to extract it and you can extract it to your desktop. It really doesn't matter. Now, I just remembered that I already extracted these to my desktop because I wanted to get it prepared to show you guys. So now I'm gonna have two homebrews on my desktop, but it doesn't matter, it's, it's really irrelevant. So anyways, we're going to go to here. See, yeah, so yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just delete these that I extracted to before. But anyways, this is the homebrew folder. So you're gonna wanna open that up so please ignore the thing in the background. The background is just a video of mine that's rendering and for some reason it always just keeps popping up. So anyways, now you're gonna wanna take the SD card out of your 3DS. So don't worry, I will show you guys uh, the 3DS screen. I'm just not showing it right now because the 3DS is off. So I don't feel a need to just show you guys a black screen. So you're gonna take the SD card out and you're going to want to insert it into your computer. Now, some computers don't have SD card readers, which is not a big deal because you can buy one for pretty cheap. I think for maybe like $10 off of Amazon, something like that. And basically it's just an attachment to your computer that you can use to read SD cards. Now I'm not endorsed by Amazon in any way, shape or form. I just like Amazon because I have Prime, so two day free shipping, all that good stuff. So anyways, my laptop has an SD card reader, so I'm gonna insert that. So that's the SD card that just got read. And as you can see, I already have a 3DS folder and the boot.3dsx, which are the two things that are inside the homebrew files. So what you wanna do is you wanna copy that. So copy, and then you would go to your 3DS. Now, normally your 3DS should just have a folder called Nintendo 3DS and maybe DCIM, but the rest of them would not be on your 3DS card. So don't feel worried or anything seeing so many things on mine. And then what you do is you would paste it. I'm not gonna paste it because obviously I already have it here and that's that. So now you just eject the SD card. So click eject safe to remove it take it out insert it into your 3ds now i will now i'll show you guys the actual 3ds footage as soon as i insert it and turn on my 3ds so my 3ds is turning on right now and i can exit out of here exit out of here and you guys don't need to see that <laughs> and I'll keep PKX over here. So now I'm going to open up the 3DS capture. You don't want to see homebrew. That's not what it is. Ignore that. That was just from a previous video. It must have been lagging. So anyways, this is my 3DS. That's my 3DS screen. And then now you can ignore all those full files and whatnot. And over here, 
I will leave a link in the description to this as well. And this is basically YLS8, whatever, whatever. It's basically a way that you can access homebrew using the browser hacks, which is what it's called. Don't worry, it's not like hacking into your 3DS or anything like that. It's, it's very safe. And like I said, nothing is installed onto your 3DS. This is purely on the SD card. So now my 3DS is connected to the internet. Fun fact. It's actually connected to my laptop's internet. As you can see, I made my laptop a mobile hotspot. I actually made a video on this because some universities, like the college that I'm at, 3DSs can't connect to their Wi-Fi. So what you got to do is you have to create a mobile hotspot, which you have to do, not what you got to do. What you have to do is you have to create a mobile hotspot using your Windows, well, Windows 10 laptops. That's what my video was about, showing off how to do Windows 10. So if you guys want to check that out, you can check it out in my other videos. I'm sorry. I. I did a little bit of advertising, but I just wanted to point that out because my 3DS is connected to that internet. So now you're going to want to click L and R to pull up the camera. And you might be thinking, why do you need a camera? Well, that's because we are going to use the QR scanner on the camera. So as you saw, I just tapped that little button on the bottom left and over here, scan it. So now just in case you don't have a QR scanner on your 3DS, I'm not sure, or if you for some reason can't use the QR scanner, just pause the video right here, look at that URL on my 3DS screen on the bottom, and then you're just gonna click OK. So on your 3DS, you just go to that URL in the browser, and it will basically look like it's hacking into your 3DS. See, it's gonna turn yellow, it's gonna turn orange, it's gonna turn green, it's gonna turn a bunch of different colors, it's gonna look really, really bad, but don't worry, it is fine, that's completely normal. It looks like it's frozen, but just leave it on, just let it go, frozen, let it go, ah, uh, uh, got it, got it. <laughs> Anyways, so here's the homebrew launcher, and as you can see, there's a bunch of different stuff, and you'd be like, you might be like, hey, what does this have anything to do with Jenny and Pokemon? So, one thing you want to do is, when your 3DS is here, you want to have the game in the 3DS. I'm not sure if it matters, like, you can just insert the game in later if you didn't have your game in before, and now you just want to click Save Manager, so click A, and then as you can see, I Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. So then you click A to select target. It's gonna do a little bit more hacking, which is fine. It's, it's nothing bad. And then what you wanna do, be careful here. So you just wanna click A to back up save data. So just click A once. And then now you just click X, you wanna exit. So you just click X and that's it. And you leave that. And so now what you wanna do is you wanna remove, leave the 3DS on and you remove the SD card from your 3DS. So I just removed it. It says no SD card detected, but it's fine. And now insert it back into your computer, which I will do right now. Okay, I just inserted it back into my computer and now this came up, which is not really relevant. You don't, you don't need this open, so that's fine. And now what you wanna do is you wanna open up PK Hacks. So my, my uh, rendering video is also going to open up, but you guys can ignore that and just pay attention to the PK hacks. So right here, just pay attention to this that's on the screen. And over here, this is how you can make whatever Pokemon you want. So let's say you want it right now it's showing an Arceus, but let's just say you want to, I don't know. Let's say you, let's say you want a Giratina. I don't know why I thought of that, but just random. So you just pick a Giratina. You can pick a nickname. You can assign it a level, so level 50, and it'll automatically do the XP for you. You can change the nature, held item, friendship, form between altered and origin, the ability, you can pick from its three abilities, and language, country, 3DS region. You can make it shiny by clicking the star if you want, and this reroll thing doesn't really matter. It's just a Pokemon ID, which is not really too relevant, but you can do it. It doesn't really matter. So you can change the origin game, if you're playing Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby, make the origin game Alpha Sapphire or Omega Ruby. If you're playing X or Y, make it either X or Y because I found that it, it works if you do older versions of the game, but you can't battle with them competitively online. So you got to keep them in the, you have to keep them in the Alpha Sapphire or Omega Ruby if you're playing those games or X and Y if you're playing those games. If you want to use them competitively, if you don't, then it doesn't really matter. You can change its met location to wherever you want the met level you make it like five 
Changed the Pokeball, got caught in, the Met Date, Fateful Encounter, all that good stuff. Stats, you can change its IVs and EVs. Um, I'm not going to mess with that right now, but you can give it 31, 31, 31, whatever, and then 252, 252, all that good stuff. You can ran Oh, let's just randomize. Let's randomize the IVs and let's randomize the EVs. There we go. All right, so... Oh, that's five. Oh, yeah, you can go up to 510. That's right. Normally, you go to 508 in competitive because you do 252, 252, and 4. But, anyways, you can change its attacks. So, obviously, pound is not a legal move. So, let's see. Um, there's a move, Shadow Force. So, Shadow Force, and you can change the number of PP ups. So, three PP ups. And I, I'm just going to do I'm just gonna do a bunch of Shadow moves. So, Shadow Force, Shadow Ball. Uh, three pps uh what else does giratina have um shadow claw <laughs> and let's do the shadow sneak if it can learn that can it yeah okay okay so all shadow moves there we go very nice very nice giratina right here and then you could change it to whatever the original trainer you want so mg for medical gamer and you can change the trainer ID. So my trainer ID is actually 11147, so I can do that. The SID I don't really think matters. The trainer ID really doesn't matter either, but it's just like if you want it, if you want to make it your own, then you can change that. And so pressure, yeah, let's keep pressure, I guess. And then the friendship, let's make it 255. Let's give it an origin form because origin seems pretty cool, pretty, pretty cool. And the origin form is levitate. Uh, you don't need an item. Sure, you can stay with Hardy, and I am in the United States, and my US is in the, um, or the 3DS is in the US, the America. And let's just make it shiny. kind of want to make it shiny. And so now all you have to do is, so if you want, if you want, you can do file, save Pokemon. So what it'll do is it'll just open up a folder. Don't save it in your SD card. Just save it in a random place, like your desktop. It, it doesn't really matter so you can save it and you can see on my desktop it just created the giratina and now basically whenever you use pk hex you can just do file open and i can open up the giratina file and it'll give me the same giratina that i just made so once you have the pokemon that you want all you do is right click over here and then you just click set and it sets it into your game now what you want to do is after that you have to do export save export main and you have to direct it to the SD card. So you go to SD card, and then you go to the 3DS. You go to Save Manager. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Completely ignore that. Completely, completely, completely ignore that. So you go to Save Data Backup. I'm, so, I'm sorry. Go to Save Data Backup, and then you go to Main. And Main already exists. Do you want to replace it? Yes, you do. Save exported to main, okay, and then now you can just X out and I can get rid of that for you guys. And so now what you wanna do is, I'm going to I'm gonna open up my 3DS again. So I have my 3DS, and what you wanna do is you wanna take the SD card out of your 3DS. So I just took it out. I don't know if you guys heard the sound or anything, and I'm putting it back into my 3DS right now. So I put it back into the 3DS and this comes up. So it's back to the regular homebrew. And what you want to do is you want to scroll back down. By the way, the other thing that I was talking about to install it actually on your 3DS is um, menu hacks. So you can use menu hacks. Um, I'm not going to make a video on that right now unless you guys want me to. If you want me to, leave a comment in the comment section and I can show you how to do menu hacks. But basically you use menu hacks and then every time you boot up your 3DS, instead of using the browser hacks to go onto the internet, scanning that QR code and things like that, you can just assign a button to access homebrew. So what you can do is you can just, um, basically when you turn your 3DS on, you can sign a button like the bot, like the D-pad or L. And if you hold on to that button, then while it's booting up, it'll access homebrew. So I'm not going to show that off, but if you guys want me to, I always can. And also people say that you, before you use homebrew, you have to assign a theme to your 3DS. So if something didn't work, try assigning a basic theme to your 3DS and then accessing homebrew. For me, I don't really think it matters. I don't, I'm not sure if I had a theme on my 3DS, but you guys should probably do that if it doesn't work out for you. So anyways, you're gonna go back to save manager. And this time what you're gonna do is you're going to click B. You're going to import the save data. Then you're gonna click X to exit. And now you can exit out of homebrew. So click the start button and then click A. It'll reboot your 3DS. 
So I'll take like a less than a minute. Uh, my 3DS, oh, sorry my mouse is in the way. I'll move that out. So anyways, 3DS is getting booted back up. And as you can see, it's completely normal. Let me see, do I have a theme? I think I do. Yeah, I think my theme is blue. Uh, okay, well, I don't even need to check it. But yeah, you can, you can see that it's blue. So I'm pretty sure I do have a theme that's blue. And then you access your 3DS, whatever your game is. So mine is Alpha Sapphire. So this is going to boot up. I'm going to skip the intro. Keep it interesting for you guys. Keep it interesting. Let's go. Alpha Sapphire, Kyogre, that nice roar, nice and loud roar. You got to access it. Okay, I am actually in the Battle Resort right now. Oh, huh. interesting. So anyways, I'm going to go to my PC. And let's, Lynette's PC, organize boxes. Prior to this, I did not have a Giratina here. But now you can see I have that shiny Giratina. Summary, it knows... Shadow Force, Shadow Ball, Shadow Claw, and Shadow Sneak, Levitate, Shiny Giratina, and as you can see, I'm going to use my mouse for this, you can see over here, that little pentagon over there, that basically indicates that you can use it for competitive battles online. So, uh, oh, I wish I could show you guys, but I actually had a few illegal Pokemon, and that pentagon was not there, so I couldn't use them online. But this one I can, and you can see the uh, the trainer is MG, my ID number matches up, the attack, defense, special attack, special defense, and speed all match up to what I created. And yeah, so you can do this with pretty much any Pokemon in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire or X and Y. And that's about it. And so if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. If you did like the video though, please hit the thumbs up down below. Subscribe, it really helps out, you know. Leave a comment, like I said, if you have any problems or if you have any suggestions or questions, question, suggestions or questions that you want to ask me. All that good stuff. I'm going to get out of here. Peace.